Hey everyone, this is Pete. Welcome back to Sunday Driving and Outrun 2006 Coast to Coast by Sega and Sumo Digital. Today we're going to pick up where we left off on the single player campaign in the Coast to Coast. Now, you may recall a few episodes ago we were having some difficulty with this final race in Flagman's Novice campaign. I'm going to give that another go today and I'm going to try it with the F50 which is supposed to be an intermediate class car rather than a novice car. So if we look at the stats, I don't... Well, it does have a higher max speed, but not quite as good acceleration as the novice cars. So let's give it a go and see if that makes any difference. We'll just try this once. And if we do mess up, we'll move on and do something else, just to, for the sake of everyone's sanity. Let's try and pick some music we do have available. That'll do. Right. So the big problem we were having was not necessarily with the race itself up until that final corner when I just clip a wall and everyone would come screaming past me. So all we need to do is make sure that that doesn't happen. And we should be good. Easier said than done though, of course. Making good progress through this first bit, that's good. Getting plenty of slipstreaming going on. Which I'm pretty sure is going to be essential to success in the later races especially. If not in this one. So this is supposed to be a novice category race, so it shouldn't, shouldn't, in theory, be too difficult. But, uh, well... We've seen how this goes on previous attempts, so let's just take it carefully and do our best. Right, this little corner here is always a little bit more tight than I think it is, so let's do a nice drift around it. Lovely job. Stop drifting. Thank you. to fourth place. There's the good old arcade collision physics once again. Meaning the computer player pretty much always comes off better in a crash than you do. Right, we've got three stages to get in front of these two. Should be easy, right? Absolutely. Swing it round those corners. Actually, stay on the road, if you please. Out of my way, black car. This isn't Ridge Racer. Right, two more stages. In previous attempts, it's all been fine up until this point. It's literally the last couple of wiggly corners that messes everything up. I think the skill that I really need to develop that I haven't mastered at all yet is 
coming out of a drift and regaining control a little bit quicker. That's because if you're not careful you seem to continue sliding for quite a while afterwards. Right, we are on to that final stage. And with the way the rubber banding works in this, in traditional arcade racer style, a single mistake will see them coming straight past you. And so if you're going to make a mistake, you need to make it early on. And recover by the end. Because once you get about to this point, this is where it gets really dangerous. Oh, it's, a, it's happened again. Yeah, look, they all just. I don't understand. There's got to be a better way to do that. That's worse than it was before. Let's have an anti-celebratory swig of coke. Right. As promised, I'm not going to subject you to that repeatedly because, you know, we've done that a couple of times already. I just wanted to see if using the F50 made any real difference, and apparently it doesn't. So, let's go do some stuff with Clarissa for a bit. So, we actually need to try and reach the end of one of these courses, which we haven't managed yet. So, let's take the F50 again. And let's try and get some money together. Or some points, I should say. See what unreasonable requests she has for us this time around. All right, do your worst, lady. Acceptable. Keep passing cars. Let's start. Did not need to drift there. Right, let's take the easiest possible route because we haven't even reached the end of that one yet on this uh, on this mode. This is better. Mm, not perfect. Better. Alright, not bad. So it's, it's not so much the objectives that cause problems in this, it's the time limit.
And I don't think the results in the various objectives affect how much time you get. But getting swept up by UFOs does. No, done it again. Lose a fair bit of speed doing that. Hmm. That's good. Yeah, so ideally you want to come into each junction with a decent amount of time left on the clock. It's the, the actual junctions, there's a surprising amount of road before you get to the time extension. Screw your stupid ghosts. I just want to reach the finish line. Was it? Was it really? Right. Are we going to have enough time to finish this final stage? Let's find out. I suspect not. Because I feel like each stage takes a little bit more than a minute. And we started this one with just about 60 seconds on the clock. do this because it's not far to the finish now. Oh no, we've made it! Right. Progress at last. Alright, let's go again. Now, in order to unlock the next level of girlfriend missions, you need to average rank A on all of Clarissa's stages. So, an average of a B at the end is not going to do us much good. So, let's try that initial route again. See if we can master this one. Again, the issue I'm having in a lot of places is sort of not being able to come out of the drifts quickly enough. And that's causing me to come off the road and start losing points. Alright. Don't drift here this time. There we go. Yeah, as fun as the drifts are, you can lose a lot of speed through them, so... It's worth learning the courses and deciding when you really need them and when you can... ...just get round the corner underground steam. Gonna burp. Gonna burp. No, it's died down. That means it's gonna hit by surprise any minute, so I apologise in advance. Uh. There it is. Oh, that stinks. We had a curry for dinner. And, uh... Yeah. That, that, really, that really smelled of it. 
Delicious beefy madras. And digestive juices. That's not going to help us get an A rank, is it? Oh, I hate this one. I think we can kiss that A rank goodbye. Unless we do like absolutely amazingly on these last two series, uh, these last two stages, which uh, you know the rate we're going, I'm not not really seeing at the minute. Meteors. Oh. Ow. No. Oh, shit. I, I feel I got more credit than I deserve for that one. A bit too short on time to actually clear it this time. Yeah, this isn't happening. I'm just gonna have to absolutely floor it through this last stage and not pay too much attention to the objectives. But obviously, that's not gonna help us get a good score, is it? I think we can probably say goodbye to this run. Oh dear me. Still somehow got a B out of that thing. Hmm. Yes, I'll try again. Because I know I can do much better than that. All right, here we go. I'm feeling like this um, bumper cam is working out a lot better for me than I initially thought it might. As I said in the past, outrun purists might scoff at me for that, but you know, when you have the option there, you might as well see if it's worth using. 
And it is. So. Keep passing cars. Let's start. Yeah. Right, let's minimize the drifting. So it seems to be causing nothing but trouble at the minute. It's really the only slowing down we need to do is by letting go of the accelerator because as soon as you tap the brake in this you go into a drift it's the odd occasion when it's useful like that that corner there a drift is pretty handy for you got to make sure you're lined up nicely ready for the beach ball when it shows up lost a bit of speed there but right and obviously a sharp corner like this we can drift around we don't have to concentrate on passing cars too much because we're just trying to not crash Don't be the UFOs. It's going to be the UFOs, isn't it? Oh, I've done it again. That wasn't quite as disastrous as last time, though, at least. on the corner that's just a nightmare to avoid like still got double a though oh no Didn't lose as much time that time, though. So we're definitely coming coming into this stage in a slightly better position. Do not like meteors. I think they might always always fall in the same pattern though. So you can probably learn that. And again, minimize the drifting to keep the speed up if possible. Coming into that last stage with a little bit more time. Sixty-five seconds. That should just about be enough, as long as they don't mess anything up. Which is not something I'm ruling out. Oh no. I should be drifting more. I've gone too far in the other direction. Thinking, no, I must not drift under any circumstances. With that corner there, you don't need to drift around. That might be where I'm going wrong on the flagman race. Because I've been doing a big drift around that corner. But if you can get away without doing that. Hmm. B. Ooh. Ooh, 
very nice. Right, I'm going to test that theory. We're going to try that flagman race again in the F50 and try not drifting around that final corner. I know it's tempting to try and get past that. Um, the, the guy in first place normally overtakes you around that point. It's very tempting to just drift in an attempt to try and get past him. But you can't get past him anyway while you're drifting. So, well, let's give it a go. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. At least we've tried it. Let's have a bit of magical sound shower. Or no, passing breeze. That'll do. Nice remix version. Get ready. All right, bring it on. <sighs> nice relaxing music. I think I like this tune more than Magical Sound Shower. I know Magical Sound Shower is the most well known of all the Outrun tracks, but uh, I don't know if it's just the fact that. It's the, the sort of hype effect where everyone says, Oh, Magical Sound Show, it's the best piece of music ever. But I always found myself preferring the other Outrun tracks. Because they're all out iconic in their own way, as we talked about a bit last time. This is the nice one. There's a couple of little phrases in this that are sort of unmistakably Sega. I think of them as very, very Sega little passages of music. We talk about Sega blue skies and Sega graphics and Sega interfaces. It's very much a Sega sound as well. And Passing Breeze is very much the Sega sound. This little bit here, this is pure... Pure Sega. In fact, that little passage there is probably the piece of the little snippet of music I think of when I think of Outrun more than Magic or Sound Shower. Oops. Right, yeah, taking it a little bit more easy on the drift does seem to be having a good effect. I feel like I'm in the lead earlier than I was last time. So again, it's finding that good balance between the corners you can get around with just the car's normal cornering and maybe a little bit of deceleration. And the corners that you actually need to slam on the brakes and slide round. He's still got ahead of us. I'm not too worried about that at the moment. It's because we've still got two whole stages. It's just not worth worrying yourself too much. There's one thing it's easy to tell in arcade races is that the actual stress you put yourself under very much has an effect on how well you play. It's, uh, I know I certainly find, and I'm sure I'm not the only one, as I think I'm doing well at something that I've had difficulty with in the past, I, I sort of tense up. And that means that I'm less able to respond to certain situations quickly. It makes it a little bit more difficult to do certain things. It just sort of puts you on edge and makes you more likely to make mistakes, so... 
best thing to do is just sort of just sort of relax into it take the results as they come if you make a hash of it you make a hash of it nothing you can do about it just try again and again and again until you die Right, so we've got that really big corner coming up. The one around the sort of swampy pond thing. Here it is. Now we don't need to drift on this one. So I'm not going to. So keep the speed right up. Be careful around these bits. Oh no! <laughs> that was entirely my own fault. You know what? Let's just I'm not even gonna not even gonna dignify that with reaching the finish line. Let's do that again. Right, but other than that, I think we're on to something there. So, as I was saying, stay calm, relax, enjoy it. Whatever happens, happens. Let's just enjoy this nice drive across wherever this is supposed to be set. I know it's unlikely that we'll see the Outrun series again due to Sega's expiry of the, Arc of the Ferrari license and the fact that it's sort of inextricably associated with Ferrari by this point, but what I really wouldn't mind seeing is a reimagining of some of the Outrun games that only came to home computers and consoles. Because there were some quite interesting games amongst those. I mean, not necessarily brilliant games, but uh, they had some cool ideas. Like, there was a futuristic um, one that I can't remember the name of. It was just something like Outrun 2000 or something like that. Um, I think that was on the Mega Drive, maybe? And there was Outrun Europa as well, which uh, wasn't a terribly good game in many ways, but it had some really interesting ideas, and it had sort of multi-vehicle stuff, so there were bits where you're in a car, there were bits where you're on a motorbike, and I think there were even sort of uh, speedboat sections as well. Is the actual concept of that one, I think, anyway, as long as I'm not getting it confused with something else, um, was that you were sort of doing... It was kind of a sort of uh, escape sequence. You were sort of being pursued by people, or you were pursuing someone or something like that. I, I forget the details. It's been a while since I played it. But I'll, I'll have to try and dig it out, maybe, for a, a special episode of Sunday Driving at some point. It's like I say, it's not an amazing game by any means, but uh, it did leave quite an impression on me back in the day, and it would be interesting to see it reimagined. And because it was a spin-off game of Outrun rather than a mainline one, it didn't rely on the Ferrari license or anything like that. It was just sort of generic cars and motorbikes and speedboats. And so I imagine a modern take on that with fresh graphics a nice speedy slick 3d engine could be cool could be terrible as well but you know we're short enough on good arcade races these days as it is so some people trying something a little bit different can't hurt
Right. Stay calm, Pete. Stay calm. Take it easy. Everything's going to be fine. Everything's going to be absolutely perfectly fine. Okay, and into the final stage. Right, we do need a drift there. We need one here, and we need one going into the tunnel shortly. Those corners are just too tight to get around normally, so a little cheeky drift around there. And one around here. But then not round Big Pond. Just ease up on the gas. Ease it round there. No, no, you don't. Oh no, it's happening again. Oh no! Oh. Well. It was closer. Let's put it that way. And with every attempt, we're racking up a few more and they don't run miles. So eventually we might get a car that's good enough to do that more easily. For now, I think we'll call that a day for there. We've made a bit of progress. We've established some theories that need a little bit more testing. Um, but otherwise, we've had a pretty good time. At least I have anyway. I hope you have too. As always, thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you again next time. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please help out the channel by leaving a like or a comment and subscribing. Be sure to check out moegamer.net for new articles on Japanese and Japanese-inspired video games new and old every weekday. Every month, Moegamer features an in-depth exploration of an individual game or series as its cover game, so be sure to check the archives to see if your favourite has had a deep dive yet. If you'd like to support the site directly, please consider becoming a patron or buying me a coffee. You can find links to do both down in the video description. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.